the usage of the Rubik's Cube as a controller for video games. Ah, what's going on? There are games controlled with a Rubik's Cube. Just nailed it, look. What the, what? This is the expert level. Lil Pump, you're next! Hello everyone, it's Kibastic. Guys, today we shoot the video in a different format. The point is uh, that we shoot from a tripod. We work uh, without a uh, cameraman because Tigrin, you know him, unfortunately is ill with the uh, coronavirus. Please support him in the comments so that he gets well soon, so that he comes back and adds some dynamics to our filming. But guys, nevertheless, today the video is worthy of your attention, because today I have a really interesting Rubik's Cube on my table. Nowadays, modern Rubik's Cubes already surprise no one. Yes, they are super magnetic, super cool and super fast, turn well and set a huge number of new records. But this cube is unique because it can connect to the phone. In general, now very few people can be surprised with these cubes. But this is one of those cubes that can be sold in online competitions and each of your solvings will be recorded. Today I'm going to talk about it and show you the Rubik's Connected, a new smart Rubik's Cube from Rubik's company and most likely the best smart Rubik's Cube on the planet. Let's take a look at the packaging first, looks pretty cool. I really love the way companies pack their puzzles nowadays. There is a lot of information here, a lot of text, it is bright, here you see special velcro claps. Let's see what this puzzle can do. Connect solve, improve, interact, play and challenge. Ok, here we can see how the cube is connected to the charger, what application it uses, we will learn about this a little later, but now let's unpack and see what is inside the box. For me, in fact, uh, the most interesting part of any video is the unboxing. For me, unboxing is always my favorite. Like a video if you like unboxing. So. That's it, uh, there's uh, nothing else in the box. Here is such a blister and inside there is only a cube and a charging cable. The charging system is similar to the Go Cube. It's uh, the very first Rubik's Cube that could connect to the phone. Let's charge it now. As soon as we connect it to the phone using the app, it reveals its full potential and we can check all its capacities. The application will look like this. We will find out now in about a couple of seconds. In the meantime, I would like to recommend you to visit the Cubicle online puzzle store. It's the only place on the internet where you can buy professional puzzles, Rubik's Cubes, Simple, complex, something completely scary and difficult at the best prices on the internet. The Cubicle store provides great service and fast delivery all over the world. The Cubicle team uses innovative technologies to create best cubes in the world. You can find their old WCA puzzles, cube twists, mirror cubes and, to be honest, almost every existing cubes. Check the link in the description and don't forget to use my special promo code CUBASTIC to get a discount on your order. Let's uh, wait a while, I just uh, want to turn it. To see how well it turns and you know, it turns better than any Rubik's Cube made by Rubik's company. It's just amazing. It is similar to... I don't even know what to compare with. But it feels like it's some kind of unique puzzle. I don't even think that it's similar to something we know. It's magnetic. I mean, uh, when we turn it, the side is automatically delayed at each full turn of the edge and uh, it's made for controlling the solving on high speed during some really quick decisions. The mechanism is well made inside. It is so interesting how the movement tracking itself works, and it can check movements. And most likely inside there is a block of mechanisms, some sensors uh, that tracks the position of some elements and uh, can fully show it to you on your phone screen. Naturally, it can be used as a regular speed Rubik's Cube without connecting to the phone, but this is not that interesting, so let's see how quickly I can solve it. Guys, Kibastic is also in Spanish now. Subscribe! Well, it turns really well actually. It can be solved really quickly. So, in 12 seconds I'm already done. 
Although I'm not used to this color, as you can see there is a black plastic with multicolored stickers. And now the latest modern Rubik's Cubes are made of uh, this colored plastic. The difference is felt well when you do it at speed. So, can we finally connect it? Yes! Hooray! So, here comes the first try of the application. Our cube is connected to the phone. Here it is, uh, this is its name. Let's turn it on. So, the first connection worked. Now, look. This cube, which I now have in my hands, is also depicted on the phone screen, and as soon as I make one movement, it repeats it with a beautiful animation on the phone screen. Are you ready? Of course we are ready. Who am I? A pro cuber? I'm definitely a pro. Hello, we have here. You know what? This cube has an identical application to the one we checked in one of the previous videos. It was uh, the Go cube. And all because only these two cubes can participate in competitions. Let's try to make uh, a test solving. To begin with, the cube offers to scramble itself. Everything is exactly like last time. It uh, tells me these letters here, uh, R2, B2. This is uh, the algorithm by which I scramble the Rubik's Cube in order to fully track my solving using the application. And after my first movement, the cube will start counting the time on its own. And as soon as I make uh, the last movement and the cube is sold, time will stop. At the same time, the application will track every movement and every position of the cube at every single stage. As you can see, now all this is indicated on the phone screen, and I'm trying to solve it as quickly as possible. So... 13... 44... This is my result. They said it's not bad. Thank you so much! But with all this, I am 557 in the world, moreover, I sold it in 13 seconds. I did 75 movements, it even understands what method I was using while solving it. It says here that this is CFOP, that is uh, Friedrich, which is used by speedcubers, uh, this is the most popular way to solve the cube. I finished uh, the cross uh, in 1 and 895 thousandths of a second. I mean, uh, this is how precisely the result is. Then it took me 7.3 seconds to solve the F2L, and I finished it in 9 seconds, 28 hundreds. Further, in second point 69 I made an OLL, and in 2.5 I finished a PLL. At each stage I can see how long it took me, so I understand how I need to train myself precisely. Since uh, this cube is similar to the previous smart cube, let's spend more time competing with someone online. Hard mode? There is still an expert mode too. Well, I'm an expert. I'm definitely an expert. See how many subscribers I already have on my channel. Of course I'm an expert. Now I'm examining all the experts here. Girl? Will I compete with a girl? If I lose, it will be a bit offensive. There are not so many speedcuber girls, but there are really only a few fast ones. It will be so cool if she wins. But I'm not going to give up. I start to worry, really, like in real competition. 3, 2, 1. This is an expert level. Listen, she's really fast. I won. Ooh. Whoa, she only had the last stage to finish. I even checked at how she solves a bit at the moment. Well, it was just like in real competitions. I will try again. So, Ethan, oh, Ethan, or whatever your name is. Okay, Ethan, let's compete. Listen, I'm so excited now. It really feels like a competition. These are the feelings I usually get at competitions. When you worry about each soloing, when you worry so much that you can start to fail every attempt. Two, one, go! I didn't even have time to look at uh, how and where to put this whole thing together, but that's okay. 14 seconds. Damn, really, one stage ahead, okay. Okay, I won, guys, but look at that, I'm just nailing it. And also, folks, I left the most interesting part as a dessert. There is uh, such a section in the menu called challenge, and we love challenges. 
Let's see what kind of challenge it is. I don't know yet, it's a mystery to me. But the cube asks to take itself with a green side like this. Ok, match finder. And what I need to do? Matthew 33, as I understand. Oh, wh what should I do? What should I do? As far as I understand, I just need to make a pattern. Wow, that's cool! I need yellow here, I need green here. Where is the green? And blue. I'm the first, yes! What the? What? It was so cool! <sighs> By the way guys, in one of the following videos I will challenge myself and try to speed solve 13 different cubes, so don't miss out this crazy contest. Subscribe and turn on the bell. I found another cool thing. These are games that we can play with a Rubik's Cube. And here is one of the most popular games in the world, Guitar Hero. You probably know it. And here it's Rubik's Cube version. It's called a Cube Hero. Here we can see in which direction we need to turn the cube. Ok, let's start with the first level. We need to go through the levels by turning some edge at uh, the right time. And they will show us which one. I should turn uh, the one that is pointed with the lights. Right? Whoa! Mm -hmm. Oh, at least one is correct. Come on! <laughs> I lost! <laughs> I want to try again, it was interesting. So, yes, I got it. I got it. Yes. Cool. Left. Up. Got it. Wow. Listen, I already like this. And it's cool to use Rubik's Cube as a controller for video games. It's necessary to think of it this way. It's really cool. I want to try again. The next level is more difficult. So look, here we are... Uh, hit. Whoa, this will be fast. It's so cool, really. I should be really concentrated. This is how you have to play. One star, but best. Damn, this is so cool. Let's see what other games we have here. The game is called... Uh, Cubicizer. I don't know what it is. <gasps> is this a piano? I can play music by turning one or another side of the cube. Let's try Happy Birthday. Let's try to play another instrument. Ah, what's going on? I turn the cube. And every move makes a random sound. Oh, let's go, that's it. Bum, bum, bum! Lil Pump, you are next! And turn this goddamn table over. <laughs> In short, it's interesting. Here is Guitar Hero. There is an opportunity to play a musical instrument. There are also two more games. This is Painted. We need to shortly fill everything with blue elements, as we have seen here. We should make it all blue. It's easy. Now I need to make the part uh, yellow. Here it is. Now all the yellow must be done. Now green, blue. Right. Now completely white. Look well, interesting enough actually. Nice uh, workout. Now there is a yellow stripe on red. On red. Completely green. 
there is green, now green with a red stripe in the middle. God, what am I doing? Completely red. I did it. Listen, in short, in theory, I stole uh, such a pattern just by collecting 9 different positions on the Rubik's Cube. Cool! There is a pattern that is uh, similar to Donald Trump! <laughs> and all this can be solved with 9 cubes. Nice! The last game that we will check today is uh, this one, called Simon. I have no idea what it is. Let's try. Take the red ones and the white ones up. Proceed. You. R. D. L. Oh, I have to remember. And then reproduce. U. R. D. L. L. Easy so far. It's like memorizing a melody, you know, uh, memory training. When you are shown the movements and uh, you memorize uh, them in turn and each time one more is added. I'm curious, at the most difficult level there will probably be 40 movements and you just need to memorize each one. Maybe yes. Well, it was a really interesting experience anyway. As you can see, thanks to the clever Rubik's Cube, in the modern reality you cannot just solve it. This cube can also teach you how to solve. That is, inside this Rubik's Cube there is a tutorial for those who don't know how it works. Now, in general, if you don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, you just buy yourself a smart cube, connect it to your phone and it itself tells you how to solve it and teaches you how to do it. We will probably have a separate video with it someday. In general, it will be interesting to find a person who doesn't know how to solve Rubik's Cube and give him this application. How much will he learn? Damn, this is actually a cool idea! Today it is no longer possible to surprise people with an ordinary Rubik's Cube and even a smart one that recharges and connects to the phone, but I am amazed at how technologies are developing related to my favorite hobby, speed cubing. Let's see what will happen. Well, I suggest you dream in the comments what will happen in 10 years in our field of puzzle lovers. Some puzzles may be created, or they will lose popularity altogether, or on the contrary, there will be a new wave of interest uh, in them. Write in the comments. In the meantime, thank you all for watching. That was Kibastic, and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye everyone and have a good time! This video is sponsored by the cubicle.com store.